Quite difficult to comprehend that speed, isn't it, Percy? Oh, nearly got Diesel's wagon off there. Maybe this time. Yes! We've lost turbo speed for some reason. We have lost turbo speed. Oh my crikeys! I was in a store looking at Thomas Dog and I stumbled upon these purely by accident. It's a turbo Percy! Wow! It's a turbo Thomas! Yeah! And a turbo diesel! Whoa, whoa, whoa! These two trains go two times faster than normal Trackmaster trains! These are frippin' awesome! Let's do it! I'm so excited to have these! I really am! Look at the chicken! It's so excited! But the chicken's gonna wait! Let's look over the box! There's a beautiful picture there of Thomas and the booster pub that's also important. Up there, there's a bit of a read. You can pause it if you want to and read that. And there's a picture there of how the booster things can speed up or slow down your trains. So my crikey's all this looks very, very awesome. This is a very, very nice change for Thomas and Friends toys. I need to check in this time to unbox these. Maybe we're going to get these facing the right way. And a couple of quick slaps because these are high speed engines. We'll get them out of the box. Okay, let's do it again. Chickens are a necessary evil. They've done an awesome job of getting the toys out of the box. Don't throw those away. They're the best fun you're going to have with your Thomas toys. You can make ghost Thomases or invisible cloaks. Oh, these Turbo Thomas toys look awesome. I can make them disappear. Percy's gone. Diesel's gone. Thomas is gone. I can't see them. Where are they gone? I can't see them. They are totally disappeared. You're going to put your hand out. Okay, there's one there. Thomas has appeared. There's something there. It feels quite boxy. That must be Diesel has appeared. And there's something there that feels a little bit strange. Yes, Percy has appeared. But with these Turbo Thomas packs, there's another really important part of the packaging. Those bits of track. We'll explain those later in the video. Let's take a look at these trains on the turntable. Okay, here is Percy up on the turntable. It looks very nice. It's actually slightly differently detailed on the other side. Can you see the difference there? I don't know if I quite like the word Percy there. We know it's Percy because it's got number six there. There is a metallic fleck in the green uh, plastic that they've used. They've given him some uh, yellow goggles there or a visor or something. It looks really, really nice. It's one of these toys that once you look at this, um, you can't take your eyes away. We'll just do normal speed here. And the face that they've given this Percy is actually very similar to what I call the, well, the, the current batch of Percy's that I've been seeing in play sets. And while it is playing out of sedate speed, I have just got a normal Percy here with one of the more modern faces in a sense. And you can just see how radically different that uh, Turbo Percy looks. And I can show you the face is what I call, uh, yes, the more recent style of Percy face. So that's your normal old Percy A. This is your Turbo Percy. And maybe the peculiar thing about the Turbo Percy is the coupling on the back. It's uh, not that loose type of coupling that you normally see on Trekmaster trains. I'm just going to retire normal Percy here and I'm going to grab Turbo Percy, turn him off, and we're going to manipulate the little tabs at the back underneath this train that will trigger the turbo speed. If I pull them back and keep them back and put this back on track, it's going to take off like a rocket. I'm going to do the hack here with a bit of blue tack. It's the stuff that sticks posters on the wall. If I put it in here and have those tabs pushed back by the blue tack, making sure it's pushed down nice and firm there. Next time we put it on track and these wheels are down, it'll turn turbo. As soon as these wheels get relaxed off track, we lose turbo speed. So it must be some little safety feature in this toy. Okay, this is where it's gonna get a little bit crazy and it's gonna be a quite troublesome thing to uh, get going. If I do that, and as soon as those front wheels make contact, we're gonna be in turbo speed. Okay, well, yeah. Oh yeah, okay, if I take my hand away, Oh my crikey, Charlie's, that looks completely awesome. You can't keep your eyes off it, can you? Apart from looking awesome, it's making an awesome sound as well. It is just magic to watch. I love it. I think this is some of the best uh, Thomas and French Trackmaster trains that I've seen. I think this speed is miraculous. 
and I'm sort of thinking, wow, why not apply this to all my models? I don't want to go slow anymore. I just want to go this fast. Woo! It is just incredibly fast. And if I start stopping this turntable, you'll start to see the absolute raw speed of that versus that train and inside. It seems like it's going nowhere. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. It's uh, actually quite difficult to comprehend a little toy train going that fast. It's amazing. It's a bit like the tortoise and the hare. Thomas and Friends style. But with high speed also comes a lot of risk and I'll just come in woo, and grab this Turbo Percy. I'll also grab this Percy here and the way I saw the pricing, I won't detail exactly what I paid. Basically this Turbo toy is double the price than let's say a normal Trackmaster toy. Next up is Devious Diesel. You'll call him Devious Diesel if you remember the old Thomas and Friends world. Uh, I think the face is really, before we get rolling here, something I want to focus on of uh, Devious Diesel here uh, versus the Turbo Diesel. It took me a while to look at this and work out what was different. I think it's a remodeled face. The visor there can throw you. The eyes look bigger. The eyebrows are different. I think the nose is different. The mouth area seems the same. That's the way I'm seeing it. Obviously, it's a different shape at the front. It looks awesome. These toy trains, the back of them is lined up. You can see the turbo diesel is uh, longer because of the change of design of the front. I do collect uh, diesel and I'll just get them running around at a sedate speed first. Or oh, we should turn the, this one on here first, okay. And really it's quite radically different. I think when you get diesel in that color there, and I call it gunmetal gray, I think it looks great. There's also a lighter gray around the wheels. Looking on top, they've given him some rocket packs or something. I think a Chuggington toy had that going on as well. I also noticed there's a blemish in the plastic here. Maybe I shouldn't have unboxed this one, but man, I didn't have many to choose from. Uh, yeah, I don't know whether the painting is the same on both sides. Can I show that quickly or not? It's a bit rough nut, wasn't it? I think that's the same on both sides. Of course, there's nothing on the back, but that's very Trackmaster 2-ish, isn't it? Just like Percy's got the lazy coupling on the back, but I'm actually quite happy with the way that uh, Turbo Devious Diesel looks. I'm sort of curious to see the face without the visor there. You know why? Because I'm so used to seeing the Trackmaster 2 trains where you see the whole face and there's nothing covering the eyes. Well, maybe it's just something I'll get used to. Maybe that visor is the best thing that we've seen in a long time. Mm, for some reason it just stopped. Maybe it's got some sort of automatic cutout in it. So when you look at it like that, which one does your eye go towards? I bet you it's that toy there, isn't it, hey? And the other thing I've noticed is that these turbo diesels in their slower form are actually a little bit faster than Trackmaster 2 in their natural form. There you go, it's just caught up. So just like Percy, I'll put um, Devious Diesel into the middle track there and I'll come along and do my little hack onto the tabs underneath this toy to make it go turbo all the time. That's all we want to see. Just getting that on there and really once those wheels make contact, we go into a full turbo mode. If your wheels relax, we go out of turbo. I would love to know how that works and I haven't got enough of these to pull them apart and this is the tricky part, getting it onto the turntable, getting those front wheels down and we are in turbo mode, oh yeah, going crazy turbo. That's weird, is it going as fast as Turbo Percy or is there some sort of weird optical illusion going on? Oh here we go, we pick our speed now. Go Diesel, go. Yes, that turntable. As the turntable slows down, the natural speed of the little toy starts to appear. It looks awesome. I'm actually surprised that it's staying on the turntable because uh, these trains at high speed don't like going around corners. And I'll just get uh, Turbo Diesel. Oh, I've got to really spin the turntable fast here. I'm just getting to um, settle down a bit and I'm going to add Percy onto the turntable. Very dangerous maneuver here and I was thinking that Percy was doing some crazy... Oh, actually, I think Percy is. Oh my crikey, Percy's way faster, so what's going on there? Well, something really strange is going on there. Diesel's back wheels have locked up. Is the thing turned off or something? Oh, Percy's down! Percy is down! That's really strange. I hope Diesel's okay. I hope he hasn't blown a, a diesel engine piston rod or something. Let me see if I can get Diesel going again. And <laughs> Normal Diesel's now playing up on the back there. Of course, we're not giving him enough attention. Oh, he's just derailed again. Okay, I'll get this going at high speed and I'll get that other Diesel back on track. Play, don't play up on me, little one. And we've got that going there and I'll try and get Turbo Percy back up on here. And this is, for some reason, oh crikey, it is really playing up on me. This Turbo Percy is much faster than Diesel. I'll prove it here because look at that! Look at that! Dreamlining, but it's Percy and it isn't Thomas and it's just smacking in the back of 
Tim and Diesel! That is just really, really strange. And I, like I said, I haven't got enough toys to pull apart to work out what's going on there. Oh, but Percy is just desperate to get past Diesel there. He's desperate to push him off the tracks there. you think Percy would have more friction with the side rods going on there, and Diesel hasn't got any. So I just don't know what's going on there. I'm feeling a bit naughty. If I grab the standard Trackmaster to Diesel and put it there, I wonder what's going to happen. Is it going to make him go faster, or is it going to make him upset? Now Percy's really doing a big job here. He's pushing two Diesels along the tracks. I absolutely guarantee you will not see this on YouTube every day. Look at that there. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? And going high, high speed. And if I uh, take the speed out of the turntable, you'll start to see the natural speed. Okay, the turntable's nearly stopped. There we go. It looks good, doesn't it? Looks really cool. Okay, something has gone wrong. They must have uh, timeouts in these toys. Because I see, I think it's diesel stopped. Get that one off the tracks there. Really getting grind, grinded along there by Percy. Yeah, see diesel stopped, Percy's still going. And if I put Percy on here, he'll come along and he'll smack in the diesel again, like that. Wow, that is nasty, nasty stuff, isn't it, diesel? You never thought that would happen to you today, but it has. I'll come in and save Diesel and we'll move on to looking at Thomas. There's a few uh, variations of Thomas that we're going to look at as well. Oh, Percy is jumpy. Percy's very jumpy. Okay, move these toys nice and... Joe! Diesel's woken up. <laughs> He's on the floor. Moving on to the Thomas in this series of toys. It's uh, really nice. It looks fantastic. Uh, there's the face there. We'll make a comparison to that other jungle one of these that I've got. There's down the other side. It's quite a chunky toy when you've got it in your hands. There's the Turbo Jungle one with the um, the mucked up face. They're both really nice looking toys. Uh, both of them have got metal fleck in the plastic. And one thing about the Turbo Thomas is it's actually quite chunky. And when you take a look at the core, it's actually quite larger than a core from a conventional Thomas. But what I will bring up here is the Trackmaster 2 Streamlining Thomas. And I'll just take the core out of this one because that there's a conventional core. And if I start to line it up, uh, wheel for wheel, maybe you can start to see the size difference going on there. It's quite taller and it's actually longer. If I just line it up across the back there, there's actually a, a length difference going on there too. And sadly, because I know this is what everyone would want to do, is you'd want to get your streamliner and get this turbo core into there. But uh, oh, maybe you could. It'd be quite... Uh, the little project to do to try and get this up into there, but I think it hasn't got enough room uh, going on in the top there. I think lengthwise you could you could certainly remove some plastic here and get it in lengthwise, but I think it's the height uh, problems going on there that's going to really be make it a tight fit, and you'd end up probably breaking into the plastic at the top here and destroying a model. Um, I don't really think we, we want to go there, but we're just going to be happy that we've got this toy here, which is actually uh, quite spiffo. I can only assume it's some little circuitry trick that does uh, the double speeding, and for the fact there's a circuit in there shutting these toys down, I've seen this happen a couple of times now, um, that's what's going on, but I, like I said, I haven't got enough of these to pull them apart totally to see what's going on inside. Uh, really nice toy, let's get it down on the turntable. I've just got a conventional, well it's a remote control Thomas there, so we can be reminded of how Trackmaster Thomas looks. And I'll get this turbo one at normal speed first, and I'll also add a couple more Thomases here, so we want to look at how things look against each other, don't we? I'll put the Trackmaster 2 streamlining one on there. Okay, and I'll also put on the jungle blah blah Thomas there as well. Okay, I've got quite a lineup of uh, Thomas Trackmaster awesome there. Now I see the trains running on the turntable. Yeah, the jungle turbo one's nice, but I'll tell you what, I really like the look of that one there. Uh, the, the planar version with the, the stripes up the side, that's really all you need, and I'm very happy with that model. There's a bit of argy-bargy going on here, the, um, the streamline in the middle. Yes, yeah, so it's getting, um, well, taken away uh, because of the nature of the shape of these trains. They're, they're very, very good at derailing because of their, that sort of cowling on the front of them. I might just get the streamliner onto the center track there. Okay, and um, this is the, the turbo 
um, Jungle Thomas one, had to think for a moment there and there is our conventional one. It's quite curious, there's various speeds of these. If I put the Jungle one at the back, you might see that the one, uh, the turbo one, as in the natural one, is a bit faster. Yes, in fact, it is, and there's a streamline. It looks nice, doesn't it, going on the inside there. Very nice. You can't keep your eyes off it, can you? So, yes, definitely there's, uh, I don't know, different speeds going on these trains because the natural one there is caught up with our jungle uh, Thomas version there, Turbo Thomas. So I think it might be time for a bit of high-speed work, and I'll just turn these toys off. Oh! The, uh, the original Thomas there is saying, oh, I've had enough of this streamline and business and turbo stuff. Get off my tracks. Look at him go there. Wow, he's really uh, huffing and puffing. Quite amazing to see, and I'll just save Turbo Thomas here before there's any more disasters. Crikey, is that uh, El Natural remote control Thomas is really, really playing? In fact, it's going to take that Thomas off the rails. Or is that Streamliner doing that? Something's making terrible sounds here. Wow, that... Uh, Oh, I know why, because it's a remote control one to have an automatic shut off. And I think it's shut off at the moment. If I pick it up, it won't be running. There you go. Yeah, it's shut down and now Streamliner's died over there and Streamliner's going to come along and and do that. Why does it get so ugly so fast on this turntable? There is this Thomas mod that I've done uh, with the 9 volt battery, but I don't really want to entertain this one in this video because every time this gets shown, there seems to be demonetization going on. And YouTube never explained why. But they have the, over there the rubber chicken, and I will get this uh, streamliner going here, turbo one. And I've done the modification with the blue tack underneath, and if I take my finger away, I think we're going to be fine and dandy. Whoa, it's high speed. That's feeling like Percy speed, if you ask me. That is full on. That's going for it. It looks great, doesn't it, going at that speed? Then that uh, other Trackmaster 2 train looks like it's just stationary. Absolutely cranking. You can't keep your eyes off the trains when they're going so lovely fast. I know you're going to ask me, but what about that Tomy Streamliner that goes really fast? Well, I've got it in my hand here. Beautiful toy. And I'm going to set it to a high speed. That's at a high speed. What do you think is going to happen? Let me get on the track here. That's it going at a high speed. Whoa, whoa! Get off my rails, the old Trackmaster Turbo says to the Tomy Streamliner. You've been superseded! Well, you thought you'd never see that, would you, hey? Well, you don't see that on YouTube every day, I can tell you. Quite miraculous. Um, the SC's Turbo Toys are awesome. It makes for some of the most unusual Thomas play that I've had on my turntable. Oh, I think the, the Turbo one's starting to play up. It's starting to get jittery and jumpy. What is going on there? Maybe it's getting to that time when it does auto shutdown, or maybe it's saying, get off my rails! You Tommy Streamliner, get off my rails! Oh, another jittery and jumpy bit. Crikey, Charlie, this thing is jumping all over the place. Yes, very soon they'll probably have that shutdown moment and then the, um, the old Tommy Streamliner can get away from that nasty, nasty Turbo Thomas. Oh, there it is, it's just cut out. Oh, Streamliner's just... What is going on there? Streamliner can't go anywhere. It's all locked up. It's all locked up. This thing doesn't move when it's in the shutdown mode. Poor old Tommy Streamliner. Look at it there, burning the rubber on its back wheels. Well, let me remove uh, this one here, Tommy Streamliner. That, well, it used to be high class and high speed. It still is high class. It's a very, very nice train. I know you get disappointed if I say anything else. Hang on, why is this thing going slow now? Oh, come on, wake up, Thomas, wake up. He's not doing his turbo. What's going on here? We've lost turbo speed for some reason. We have lost turbo speed. Why? I'm on a couple of taps to fix things up. Oh no. This isn't good news. Uh, let me just get rid of this Trackmaster 2 Streamliner and um, why is this core not being turboized? I'll just give it a little bit of heart to heart here. A little heart massage. Sometimes it wakes them up. No, it might be an electronic problem in this one. Oh, to continue on, I want to do a bit of a track run. What I'll do is I'll take the core out of this one. There's the only other one I've got here that I can swap out of this uh, jungle one, and I'll get it into this one here. I know you might ask, what about the batteries, Leo? Well, I've just swapped them out. One thing I noticed when we did the jungle uh, turbo, Thomas, you'll go through batteries if you run turbo all the time. Maybe you'll destroy the circuit as well. Let me see if the new batteries will make this go... Oh, I just, I actually just heard it. 
try and go it tried to go turbo then yes oh maybe it just needs to cool down that will normally trigger it okay so pulling these back and hitting those wheels there no that's a dead duck so that core there we'll just forget about this one for a bit i'll swap out and give it the jungle core because these cores are the same they fit this sort of uh, more bulbous thomas here so we've got a a normal turbo thomas top with the jungle core it'll look no different and hopefully we'll get thomas back in the turbo mode if i've done that yes Whew. let's hope i don't burn that one out hope i don't burn this one out that other thomas has a bit of a whiff of uh, burnt electronics uh, maybe don't do the mod that i showed in this video okay i've got uh, bits of rolling stock here which as it moves along these bits move and jiggle and uh, look great and we'll give this turbo thomas a run with these and to make it look even faster i've got the jet engine on the back yeah this may or may not work i'll just start off uh, as sedately as i can and as soon as i put those wheels down it'll go turbo oh man I, it's gonna look awesome i think and i'll just see how that goes eh? oh it's gonna want to tear away from me i'll just try and control my finger a bit oh it's gone hey, it's a runaway train but a fairly awesome uh, looking runaway train that rolling stock's going crazy okay i'm trying to control this train and get it so i can see uh the little bits of rolling stock that move uh that was from what was that trophy thomas duh, duh. i can't remember what the lava was from still work something wasn't it uh that one there again i can't remember everything but it looks cool when it's running fast uh that one there it was only a recent one i looked at too looks cool when it's going fast and i put one on it that doesn't move <laughs> how about that whoa and of course the jet engine um, going up the rear yeah we want that jet engine don't we boys and girls yeah the funny thing is i think i'm actually burning out this one it's not it's not going as fast as, as it was before oh this is not a good sign um maybe i'm showing you how to destroy these to toys and then you'll go out and buy more there'll be someone who'll be really happy with that won't they the people that make the toys well there you go <laughs> i think i've taught myself a lesson don't do the mod that that i've just shown in this video that thomas there is getting really sick they don't tell me i've destroyed two cores in this video it seems that way doesn't it let me just come in and uh, save this Thomas. I'm going to quickly open it up and see if I can smell um, electronics burning inside this one. Okay, I've just go. Fuck, is this got just gone crazy turbo on me? Turned on while I was taking the cover. Let me just have a sniff of this. Yeah, it um, it's not smelling too happy. Um, so maybe this little mod here is a very very naughty thing to do. Let's see. Yeah going turbo but i don't think it's going well i've seen better turbo than that whoa to turn it back off well let me just get this back up together maybe i should have read the constructions before i started doing these mods and maybe you should only play with them in the way that you're instructed here to use those track parts to turn on and off the speed Ooh, naughty leo but i'm still glutton for punishment i'll put these trains up doing turbo while they still can and we'll see them all up together eh get perthy going because they all like perthy i think he's the most turbo terrific well yeah go pussy go and we'll get um oh crockies we'll get diesel going as well oh, I have, oh i'm having trouble getting diesel on oh there goes diesel oh, percy is much faster because he hasn't burned out yet that's why and to get thomas going yes go thomas go so there's thomas sarah slowly catching up to our turbo percy and uh diesel's definitely uh the slow coach in this even though he's got those jets on top he's not showing that much speed well i might put diesel at the back here this is going to be a very dangerous maneuver okay here we go diesel's at the back and what will happen is percy will quickly catch up again look at that percy's flying and also thomas will also just catch up yeah it's quite curious the different speeds going on there or maybe they're all getting burnt out I'm sort of trying to pick which one's my favourite. I do like that diesel, I'll have to admit. Any variation of diesel, devious diesel, I'm happy with. Percy's okay. If you're a Percy fan, uh, you're going to be very, very happy with that. It's a nice shape. It's a nice toy to look at. It's a nice toy to have in your hand as well. And I do very much like that Turbo Thomas there, uh, much more than the Jungle one. I think the Jungle one looked just a little bit too messy. 
Anyway, before I burn out these toys as well, let me, uh, which one I'll take these off, probably Thomas at the back. Let me set up a bit of track with the things that activate the, um, the high speed performance without doing that hack underneath. Each of those Turbo Thomas toys came with a pair of booster tracks, really important pieces of track. Uh, they let you control the speed of your train. Uh, that's the high speed sitting there when it's green. It raises up a little piece of plastic there. Then when you pull this the other way, it changes the color and lowers that piece of plastic down. And that piece of plastic there is the thing that interacts with the tabs that's underneath these trains. They're the ones that I manipulated back and successfully burnt out the toys. Okay, I've set up a bit of a track here, as much as I could fit onto my review bench here. I've set these to set going slow around corners, you need to do that. I've also put a bit of track in here because what I found was that even if the slowdown from this point here, if you go straight into a curve, you can often roll here. So you need a bit of a, a cool down spot there. Going around here, that's set to fast. Okay, the trains will zoom along here, set to slow there. Round the corner there, set the fast and whooshka. I'm a bit perplexed why I've uh, lost the Thomas core already because I know that that was originally the Turbo Jungle Thomas one that had, well, was given a lot of play by my son in complete turbo mode. So uh, I don't know what happened there. So just watching here, Turbo Thomas there, Turbo Percy coming up the back there. Wow, see, Percy is faster. Okay, def. Oh, yes, and Percy's just crashed off the tracks there. To me, Diesel's a bit of a slow coach. So yeah, Thomas is catching up. Ooh, he's gonna almost shove off the rails there. Let me save Percy and get Percy back on track. Go, Percy, go! Yeah, and uh, they make this little clicking sound when they go over the, uh, the bits that activate the little parts underneath these toy trains. And I'll see Diesel and Thomas are still sort of, um, well, they seem to... Yeah, Percy's caught up because Percy's sort of fast. He's going to cause trouble here. Yes, uh, like that. I might add some rolling stock onto these trains to capture them here without a train wreck happening. Oh, Diesel's trying to escape me because I think that's going to spice up life. Just before I put the rolling stock on, there is a cost to performance, and that is you'll go through a lot of these batteries. Because I've already done a review with that uh, Jungle Turbo Thomas thing, I noticed we chewed through tons of batteries, and even the battery in Percy... Now it's getting down. So the battery companies are going to love toys like this. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of, of AAA batteries. I'm just going to look at Diesel's battery status here. Yes, that's down as well. What I found was because we played this on the 6-in-1 Percy set, when you do have depleted batteries, you'll start to lose performance, but then you can start to play on play sets and things that, um, we'll put it this way, with fresh batteries you can't. You'll start to negate corners and things. That you can't if these are going full bore. So yes, there is actually you know something nice about it when they're a little bit off key in performance. Uh, you'll be able to do stuff that you can't do when you've got fresh batteries. And what we found was these turbo trains when we played with the turbo jungle one, uh, any bit of specialty track, uh, it didn't want to really negate across uh, like the the piece which is in the railway race set where the bridge blows apart. Uh, the turbos, um, they couldn't do it. Okay, I've got that set up in really original colour schemes, haven't I, hey? And we'll get them on their way. You might think that's the best yeah, toy train fun you can ever have. Uh, very much if you like playing with straights. Ooh, Percy's wagon went a bit haywire then. Uh, perfect little trains for you, but if you like corners and things, you're going to get very frustrated because, oh, Percy's going to cause trouble here, because Percy's still faster. Whoa! You're going to blow up Percy if you keep hitting that explosives wagons like that. I don't know how it's staying on track, but it is. Watching this very carefully. Yes, yeah, so I like it like that, actually. <laughs> go, Percy, go! Oh, nearly got Diesel's wagon off there. Maybe this time. Yes! Diesel's down. Diesel is down. Just got to pick a clear spot here to get Diesel back running again. Oh, Percy's in trouble there. Oh, no, Percy righted himself through that area there where they speed up. Percy is definitely the troublemaker in this, and I think Percy's going to cause Thomas some trouble next. It's certainly looking that way. Naughty Percy. Whoa, Thomas's wagon has derailed there, but it's back on. Percy is... Go! Oh, yeah! Oh, Percy is down! Percy is down!
it's one of these things you're either going to really like this style of play or you are going to not like it I don't think there's really anything in between and we'll watch Percy here I'm sort of totally mystified why Percy's running faster and there's trouble happening here Thomas is causing trouble with um, Diesel oh bow bow it's a three-way stack up this next one's gonna be very interesting yeah oh Diesel's down Diesel is down I could see, you know, the train battles that I used to do, as in past tense, if you had some of these set up in those track components like that, they give you your speed and slow ups, you could really change the balance in a train battle, couldn't you? Because these could become like the hoodlums on the rails. Very much naughty little boys, like that one there. And they're bunching up together again. Percy, oh, wow, Percy is down, and Diesel's down! Percy and Diesel are down! Uh, spooky they all stop literally at the same time because they must be timed and they must be all timed together very creepy when everything just stopped because I sort of started at the same time maybe that's a signal for me to basically well have my final words about these quite wondrous toy trains okay Thomas and friends uh, track master turbo speed engines I'm giving them a double thumbs up I like these a lot what did we like about Percy I think if you're a Percy fan you're going to be very happy with that it's a great shape it looks like it's going fast in fact it looks like it's going into outer space I may be wondering why they've written Percy on the side here we know who that is because it's got six on the back maybe people will strip out six and put a three there because I want to turn it into a turbo Henry of course um, yes, it's very nice. It's a nice toy to play with. Very dynamic, um, fun. That's what we want to have have happen. Uh, diesel, great. Not black. It's gunmetal grey. Got rockets on the top. Lightning bolts down the side. Maybe could have done without the red ladder. Different grey there around the wheels. Very nice. A uh, bit of a change up on the face. Uh, design of the front is different. It's nice. I'm a diesel collector, so I'm going to be very happy having one of these. Crikey's, it was very lucky to find this. I nearly missed out. Like you saw in that video when I showed the empty pegs of the Thomas stuff. People probably say, oh, but we didn't want diesel. Well, just thank goodness it's not near. Okay, it could have so easily gone the other way. You know, sometimes you don't realise how lucky you are until you got something you don't want. As for Thomas, very nice. Um, about much better than the jungle theme when it's all sort of messed up and gone through, you know, mess and a muddy face. This is much nicer. Uh, there's nothing really wrong with this. I like it a lot. I'm a Thomas collector and any sort of difference in Thomas is nice. The performance of these is fantastic. In fact, it's outstanding. That is if you don't burn them out like me. And as for the burnt out core here, I have been playing with this and what I've noticed is that if I do pull the little tabs back here that trigger it and also press down those front wheels, listen carefully. Not that you'd really notice, but it does increase in speed a tiny, tiny fraction. But I think, uh, basically, that core is cactus. Maybe that's a core that I can pull apart and see what's going on inside. I dare say it's an electronics a trick going on inside that to do these turbo speed trains, which I think are absolutely phenomenal. Maybe the best way to illustrate how damaged this core is, I'll give it a run on the track here and let it get activated by that section over there. And maybe you'll see it pick up in speed. Yeah, there it goes. Wow, it's going fast, isn't it? Slow it up for the corners. Well, in case it's going to roll off. Speed again. Very tragic indeed. But I do wonder why that core, well, failed so fast. I did hammer the core in the Turbo Jungle one. I tell you, my son played with that a lot. With the uh, tabs pulled back a lot. Yet that one there failed real fast. I've got a clever audience and there's someone out there will explain it to me.